Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to properly see the normal map that you did uh, on your mesh in the Blender viewport. Uh, this idea comes from Ronix who helped me uh, when I transitioned uh, from Maya to Blender to uh, parent the a light source to the camera so that you can uh, easily see it live uh, in the viewport. Uh, previously I showed you an example by using the HDRI provided by Blender but that was uh, really weird. Uh, so I'm going to show you the proper way here. Uh, so first step is uh, if you go to shading mode um, to disconnect the diffuse. So basically here you can see the diffuse and here you have the normal map. So all I did was uh, add a new texture, normal map, color space, non-color, always do this. Uh, plug it into normal map node and then plug it here. Uh, strength, you leave it at one. You don't want to change this because uh, you're going to make it stronger, but it's not based on the texture. It's based on this thing. So you want to see it how you did it in the texture, in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. Okay, so that's step number one. Uh, then uh, we gotta be into material preview mode, so this uh, little ball here. And make sure scene lights is turned on and everything else is off and zero. Uh, render pass combined. Don't check this, keep it unchecked. So only scene lights, okay? Nothing else. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna position my perspective camera like uh, towards the front of the building, okay? And I'm gonna add a camera, a shift A, camera. And um, now I'm just going to hit numpad zero on my keyboard to go into camera perspective. So you can see here on the top left, if I keep pressing, I'm switching from normal perspective to camera perspective. So I want to see through the camera. Okay. And we go into the camera options here, object data properties thing. Focal length, I'm going to change it to 20 millimeters. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in, keep it kind of like this front with the face of the building. And I'm gonna add the light source. So Shift A, light, sun. Uh, sun is basically a directional light. So no matter where this is located in the scene, it's gonna cast uh, light from basically on this thing. If you can't see this uh, line here, it's uh, located right here, viewport overlays and it's extras. Okay, so have that turned on. And now you basically have to rotate the um, the the light. Okay, so. You can either uh, use this and what this does is basically if you have it on Z, so you're, you're rotating on Z, you're going to revolve around the Z axis. Okay, if you select Y, you're going to revolve around the um, uh, Y axis. Okay, so imagine that it's doing a circle around this axis from the center point. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go here and do 60, 60, 60. Uh, so it doesn't matter the, the location. It, it can be anywhere in the scene. So you can, I can move it here, I can move it here. It doesn't affect. So it's always going to cast like from everywhere in the scene in this direction, the light source. Now, maybe your scene is set up different. That's why you have to play with those settings. But the idea is that um, from when you are in camera perspective mode and you're looking at your building, the front side, you want to light it pretty evenly. So maybe you can see here a little bit of shadows. I could uh, go and uh, tweak, that, uh, tweak that a little bit. So I, I'm looking at this. This is not the one that I'm looking at. So it's casting shadow there. It's probably X. Okay, so something like that. Keep it kind of front. See, so I'm going like that. And Z, maybe keep toying. The idea is you want to uh, light one face evenly. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna go, go here in the outliner. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, select my sunlight, uh, hold control and click the camera, okay? And now right click here, parent object. So what does this mean? It means that uh, now when we are in camera perspective, no matter how we move the camera, uh, it's gonna move the light with the camera, okay? So then we can easily go and look at one side and uh, see from the top, from the right side. And it's really, really, really useful to see the normal map like this. Because for example, let's look at this uh, Mitchell house um, logo here. Uh, so I can uh, accurately judge, okay, maybe I need to make this a bit more uh, strong to fake the extrusion more, or uh, it's, it's very easy to judge like this, uh, how the normal map is gonna look on your mesh, okay? So you can see the the impact this has. And once you leave uh, the camera perspective, so we go into user perspective, the light doesn't follow anymore. So right now you're rotating based on the Blender viewport, not not with the camera, okay? So the, the sunlight is there. So if you just wanna make uh, changes to your mesh, you go into solid mode, do whatever you gotta do here. And then here is uh, where you can preview it by going into um, the camera source, camera perspective, okay? So now it's following that. Uh, I advise you, uh, once you set this up, and again, it depends on your mesh, 
uh, once you have this setup, uh, go to file, defaults and save startup file. So you can always have a, like a base startup. Uh, I don't know if you need, need me to make a video about how I set up Blender and how I have my startup file, because the one that I previously showed in a video is kind of outdated. I don't use that anymore. Uh, let me know in the comments below, but uh, this is the main idea. And then you can right here, press zero to see normal map. Okay, something like that, just for your uh, thing, okay? <laughs> All right, hope this was useful. Take care, peace.